Oh. Yeah. Hey guys, so today is gonna be a fun day. We are meeting my cousin Jackie. She just uh, started dating a new guy, Kai. Are you tired? Yeah. So my cousin Jackie, she just started dating a new guy named Kai and we're going out to lunch with them now. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready and go. We're meeting them at Babcock Ranch where there's a splash pad and a playground. So hopefully he can burn up some of the energy. Um, he's super tired. So this might be a whole disaster, but we're gonna go with it. And then um, I will take you along. <laughs> Babcock Ranch. It was super windy out, so no splash pad today, but it was fun. We had fun meeting Kai and just seeing Jackie. Um, Johnny is being super goofy right now, and he just went to Publix and got some things. So he said he wants to do a Publix haul for you guys. So he just walked in. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the frame is here, so. You gotta look at the camera. <laughs> Hello YouTube. This is my public haul. I got sunflowers, three for twelve, as always. And I got these are limited edition <laughs> chocolates. Because everyone knows your loving wife needs chocolate sometimes. Once a month. So to any husband out there, this might make your day a little better. It's not much, but it's it's something. Okay, so along with the chocolates and sunflowers, I haven't told Riley this yet, but I was craving ribs, so I got ribs. I can show you those. I got the fresh ribs. Usually I get the frozen ones, but... Today, I wasn't going to wait for the defrosting. because this video is gonna be crazy I don't know what I filmed and what I haven't filmed and I don't know how long this video is I just I don't have Wi-Fi I haven't been able to go to my mom's house so it's another chaotic video and I'm hoping it's not gonna be like 30 or 40 minutes long but anyway um, today's a new day I'm trying to get my dad over here my dad actually has a history of hanging wallpaper when he was younger so I'm trying to relinquish that task to him the wallpaper was like $400 brand new and I really do not want to screw it up. So I'm trying to get him out later. I did buy like the wallpaper paste and stuff like that that I think we need. 
um, he's going to be bringing some of his own supplies as well. And then we did get just some stuff. You can see in the back, we were going to do this backsplash originally for this tile. It's like a light, cute little baby blue color. But when we saw this, I also saw this. And at first I thought this would be like a little bit too busy. But I kept thinking about it after we bought that piece. And I was like, this just looks cute. I feel like it would brighten up this whole kitchen. So this is what we're going with. And hopefully Johnny's friend is coming over today. Uh, apparently he only has that guy's phone number on his work phone and his work phone's dead and it's an iPhone and none of us have an iPhone. So I don't know. It's just annoying, but hopefully he, he's supposed to come today and I don't know if he has our address or not, but hopefully that pans out and he can do that. That would make a huge difference and just be super sweet. Um, we also did buy like little outlet covers and stuff. These are like nicer, heavier duty ones. All of the ones we have in the house are like dinky little plasticky ones. So that'll also make that look better. Um, what else? I bought this. There's like just some stuff for the bathroom. This is the floor cover because it goes from like the vinyl plastic wood to tile. So this kind of matches like the wood, but this was all I could find. Um, a lot of them are like metal. This might be metal, but it's like a brown metal. So this will be nice. Um, my parents have not seen our bathroom yet, so I'm excited to show that off. And then I'll show you the boys' room. I finally put everything back together. I'm, I'm happy with the wall. I'm just like me, I'm a perfectionist. And when you're doing shabby chic wall, like chalk paint, that can't ever be perfect. And it's not supposed to be perfect. And I keep telling myself that, but the wood we bought was like rough. It's got, you know, the knots in it and different things like that we stapled it there's just things like that and then with me painting chalk paint it's very like watery it kind of would run down in certain spots so i would go back over and try and sand them down and then sand through the wood and then have to repaint it and then whatever so it that drove me crazy but with everything back in its place i have the crib back against the wall the dresser's back up it looks fine so i'll show you what that looks like I need my mom to come help me. Um, I had Johnny trying to hang up our little cute baby animal pictures and he is just like, I want to get this done so we can go to bed. And I am like, no, I want to take my time and get it right. So I don't come in here and think, oh, that one should be over a little bit slightly or this one's too high or this one's a little bit crooked. I just want it to be done perfect and I want it to look nice and be happy with it. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so this is the current state of the bedroom. This is what the wall looks like. Last night I had Johnny hang up the hook. We bought that like weeks ago and it's just been sitting on the counter driving me crazy. So that's up. Um, the last two animals, I just made a stop because my concern with how this was going was that they're too far to the left. And you can tell because there's these little notches of wood here on this side and then they're equal on this side. And I could tell that it just wasn't perfectly centered and Johnny was getting really frustrated and I really just wanted this project done right so I asked him to stop and I said I would just do it tomorrow. Um, but we also have the paint swatches. I do think the wood looks okay. Um, it's growing on me a lot. Like I said, these walls are like a light gray and with the white, I think it makes the room a little too cold. So our plan is to pick one of these two swatches and paint um, the rest of the walls. And I think we're leaning with the blue. I do think the green would be cuter with like the farm theme that we have, but I think that the blue is just like a little bit older. And if we wanted to um, upgrade the theme to like fishes or aquatic or whatever, we could do that later in life. Um, like my mom bought this sign for Jonah and we said the same thing with this mirror that it could be kind of like, like submarine almost is what it looks like, cruise ship. Um, I've been seeing a lot of like the Florida little Jesus fish and just like beachy coastal and I think that's cute and Toby really likes fish and we're like a fishing family so if we wanted to do blue that would still pull into our lifestyle and I think it would go with the white walls kind of more beachy coastal but anyway this is what the room looks like I wish I did like a real before <laughs> you know before I did this to the wall but I think it looks good. It's growing on me a lot. And this has been a lot of work. And then also with the tub, this, this dresser is too far over. They're cutting this little access panel so we can get to the jetted tub. And he was going to drywall it back on. But I think we're just going to get like a metal access panel. So we don't have to cut the drywall with like a breaker trips or something. Um, Johnny was saying in the future they might have to cut this back out to get to it. So I think just a permanent metal access panel like discreet on the you know, bottom of the wood wouldn't be bad. So now the question is, is my dad coming or is he just messing with me? I think he's actually gonna come 
but um, I want to do both closets and I feel like this would be the easier closet because this closet we're not talking about potentially knocking the wall down like we are in the other room. So I don't know if I should just go ahead and take everything out of this so it's ready or if I should just go ahead. This room is pretty much cleaned out. I do need to get this dresser out and this giant mirror but that is not something I've done it by myself before. Literally I put this in. I put this in in this room by myself. I had to turn it sideways to slide it in. And I've gotten the mirror up there by myself, but I'm just like, I feel like I can't even think right now. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll wait for my dad. So hopefully he's coming. Are you going to start getting on that HGTV? Oh, yeah. Ry Riley's redo. That's what I said. <laughs> I told Jackie when I hung out with her yesterday, I feel like Joanna Gaines. I'm like, this wall needs to come down. I want a backslash here. I want wallpaper on this wall. <laughs> backsplash is done there's still a layer of like gunk that needs to be wiped off but I think it looks super cute right now so the guy it was actually somebody Johnny works with was able to do this today and I think it turned out really good he seemed really good it was reasonably priced because he was a friend so happy with that and then I'll show you the disaster that is the rest of my house right now Let's see so if you walk down the hallway you will see the kids room that I just cleaned everything is out there sponges there's all kinds of crap everywhere so we are wallpapering the inside of the closet and i was not aware that the texture really matters when you're doing this and so my dad had to go buy like paste some kind of wall paste to like make the wall more flat so this is the state of this room it's a total disaster so i'm definitely gonna have to clean this up tomorrow um, but i'm not dealing with it tonight and my dad said he won't be able to really come back the rest of the week so this is kind of just is what it is and then this is the state of this bedroom kind of the same deal um, they worked for several hours but they got that weird wood that was on this that came off and so it's more textured but we my dad said we probably need like three coats so they've done one it looks good much better than it did and then this will help the wallpaper just appear more flat and uniform all around so lots of progress today I'm happy with it Side note too, so as soon as my mom got here, I told her I painted the shiplap and she actually helped us do the shiplap. So I think she was kind of bummed just on the phone when I told her that we painted it. I painted it, um, but as soon as she saw it, she said she did not like it and it does not look good and it makes the room look cheap. So that was not fun to hear. And she said she would help me clean it up next week. So we're gonna try and make it look more like this. Like the white wash, kind of the back of that sign. That's kind of what I'm going for on this wall. So she's going to come and help me like, you know, sand it up a little bit to make it get a little more of like a rugged rough appearance and hopefully bring out some of the natural wood in it. I've been working this morning. We are wallpapering the insides of the closets. I know that sounds like quirky and weird, but it's going to look really cute. I have a vision for it, so stay tuned. Um, but... I wasn't aware that you can't just wallpaper on a wall. You have to make sure the wall is perfectly flat first. Uh, my dad came over and explained that to me yesterday. So we've been replastering the wall, trying to get it as flat as possible. And that has been a total nightmare. Um, my dad and my brother worked on it for a few hours yesterday. They got both closets plastered, which means the guest bedroom is completely ripped apart. And now my kids' room is completely ripped apart. Um, we're almost at the end of our bathroom right now, so I thought I was going to get my house back, but that does not seem to be the case, and that's fine. I just want all of these projects done, and I want them done correctly, but I've been trying to plaster the walls myself this morning, and it's definitely not fun. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it at all, so I might video that a little bit and just show you. I'm not an expert at this. I'm literally just kind of winging it. I really didn't even pay attention to my dad when he was doing it. I just let them do their thing. So I'm kind of trying to figure it out by myself. Um, I just did a layer. It needs to dry for a couple hours before I can go back in there, but I'm sure I'll show you that when I can. Um, but anyway, this is what we're doing today. 
Hey guys, good morning. So today my plan is to just kind of hang out around the house. I've been running errands, trying to get everything done, like the backsplash, the bathroom, like just my life right now is just home renovation, which is exciting for me because I've been wanting to get all this stuff done, but it's chaotic, it's stressful. You have to just be prepared for things to not go according to plan because that's how everything has gone. Um, I'm a little bit worried that the bathroom people are just going to ghost us. Um, I told you that one day he came, he hadn't even like entered my home and he's like, yeah, we're going to need the final check today. And I was like, oh, like, are you going to have the walls retextured today? Like, are you going to hang this light today? Are you going to hang the mirror today? Are you going to drop the medicine cabinet? Like, you know, there's obviously stuff that needs to still be done. And then I went over all of that. They worked for... I don't even know if it was an hour, maybe two hours. So it was very, very short amount of time. There was like six guys here. Um, so my house was just like full of men. Um, and then when I went over all the things that I wanted done that weren't fixed yet or that needed to get done, they all just kind of left. So they said they would be, uh, be here sometime this week, but I haven't heard today's Tuesday. So no word yet on if they're even coming or not. And I really honestly, the way this whole process has gone, I wouldn't be surprised if they just like tried to cut ties and didn't even bother with the final check because honestly, they've already gotten most of my money. Um, but anyway, so my plan today, I don't want to leave my house. I, like I said, I've, I got groceries yesterday. I've been running errands, getting stuff like light switches and like weird things. Like it's just been all home renovation projects. So I would like to stay home today and try and work out if I can. I told you probably in a few videos ago that I'm trying to do 40 push-ups. I'm trying to run for an hour and a half every single day. That was going well for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. And then with all of this going on, it just kind of fell off the tracks. And I've gained back five pounds. Um, also, I feel like my hormones are just kind of like going crazy. Um, I've had two kids in the last two years, and this is my second normal like period that I'm having. So I was par pretty much just like binge eating chocolate like I was craving chocolate and I was just giving in to chocolate and that is just not like me but five pounds back on so I'm back up to 110 I was down to 105 so I'm trying to get to like 103 104 that's like my goal weight it's almost there um but that's my plan today is just to work out maybe try and clean the house up a little bit because my kitchen is kind of disastrous we went to Costco last night so there's like orange or apples and peppers and stuff that I washed that need to be put away and you know so I'll try and take you along with my workout I don't have great internet here so that makes it hard for me to work out if I can't watch like a video or something I have like cartoons on in that bedroom for the kids so it's hard to run and watch like PBS kids Sesame Street it just doesn't doesn't get you in the fitness mode but we're gonna try and I'll take you along today So I have four minutes left of my workout. Um, I'm trying to do an hour and a half on the treadmill and when you have two kids, it's hard to find an hour and a half consecutively. Look, you want to say hi? Come here. 
Toby gets so worked up when he hears me on the camera. So say hi. <laughs> yeah, hi, good job. So I have four more minutes. Jonah woke up and then I realized Toby had been up and he was just kind of babbling in his crib. Um, but anyway, and I wanted to share. So I told you guys I did gain back five pounds, but I just feel so bloated. And I just feel like I've been having like some digestive issues. Hey! So I'm kind of thinking about going and seeing a doctor about that. But all I've eaten today, I had an apple and I had a chicken breast. And I just feel like I, I look incredibly bloated and I feel really bloated and it's kind of just uncomfortable. Um, I was at Costco yesterday and I found they had some kombucha juice. I've never tried this um, and I can't remember where I heard this. It might have been on the news about like your gut health and that fermented things are really good for your um, digestive system. So I'm going to try that, but I'm really thinking... We have insurance and this has been going on probably my entire life and I just have like normalized it so much. So I think I might want to see somebody about that and see if, if this is normal or if there's something I can do to help if I should be taking like a probiotic supplement. Um, I'm also trying to cut out, I drink a lot of Celsius and I drink like cold brew black coffee and I love coffee. That's probably not something I can cut out. I, I love it. I drink it every day. But the Celsius that I can probably stop doing and I want to try drinking just more water. Um, and I told you guys too, I just started my cycle and my cycles have been like all over the place since I've, I'm six months postpartum. And I've had, I think this will be my second period since I've had Jonah and he's almost seven months old now. So I don't know what's going on with my body, but I just feel like super out of whack and a little uncomfortable with myself and like in my skin right now. So I need to get that straightened out. I have four more minutes to do, so I'm gonna try and do that. They're playing, and then maybe I'll make them lunch. Hey guys, so that was a false alarm. <laughs> they wanted lunch now, there was no waiting on that. So I'm feeding Toby. Um, the issue I'm having is we have one high chair and we have two babies, and we have a really like high bar um, table that we use for our dining room table. The house we bought doesn't really have like a dining room kitchen area. So our kit, our table is like in the middle of our kitchen that we have. And for me and Johnny, it works fine. But for the kids, it's kind of hard, um, especially with just having this. And yesterday I was driving, I was in my mom's neighborhood and somebody was throwing away this little high chair. And this looks like something that was in like a actual restaurant, like at like Cracker Barrel or something. So I pulled that out. Um, I don't know if that'll work. That might just be like a big waste of my time, but I'm planning on sanding it, painting it. And then I thought I can do like, maybe like little, like a stencil spray paint or something. I could do stars or alphabet letters or something to make it look like more kiddish. And then I can either use it myself or I can try and sell it and make a buck. Um, I'm a stay at home mom right now. I'm not making any money. And my husband is trying to support all of us on one income and it's been really tight lately. So that is my plan for that. But at some point we're gonna need another chair for this guy because right now I'm having to wait till Toby's done and alternate them and it's been just like a big headache. So that is my plan. And then I thought I would share, I haven't opened this yet or tasted it, but I want to. So, mother kombucha. It's really good. Yeah. I've had kombucha before and I did not like it. So that's good. Um, it's funny they put it like in a beer bottle because it kind of tastes like a beer. <laughs> what? Is that good? Toby is having fig newtons and um, goldfish crackers, which are his favorite. And I forgot to videotape it. The other night we did cut his bangs. Me and Johnny have been on like a haircut strike. I thought his hair was so cute and I just did not want to cut it. But every time I see my family, they're nagging me that he needs to have his hair cut. And so I finally gave in and I really just gave in because when I would give him baths, it would get like down in his eyes and he got soap in his eyes twice. And I was like, okay, it's just, it's time. So we left the back of his hair really long still. So he still kind of has like a little baby mullet, which is actually cute. I dig it, but yep, new haircut. Are you having a good lunch? You got some on your chin.
Ni sing sit. Do we say sit? going